introduce yourself. What up, what up? This is Derek Wallace Jr., also known in the community as Roscoe No E. What's going on? This is my dad. Um, we look alike, kind of. Just a little bit. Don't tell you. Don't tell my mom. <laughs> but today, today, we are here. Um, we're gonna be reacting to the play-in tournament. Garbage. Participation we trophy. We ain't even started yet. <laughs> we, ain't even, we ain't even kicked off yet. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> um, so currently when I'm when we recording this, it's what April 14th. So it's still two more games, but those really won't matter. Um, and I think from what I've seen as far as like ESPN notifications, these was good games. So what I try to do is come over and do these videos more often, especially with the playoffs coming up. But that's it. So. You had any expectations going to this? No, because... Wait, wait, wait. Speak, yeah, speak into that, yeah. All right. No, because this is something that shouldn't take place in the NBA. Why not? There are 30 teams. <laughs> How in the world is 20 teams have an effort or an attempt to make it to the playoffs? Why they can't have an effort? Nah. You don't like that? I do not. Do you think they should shrink it? They should lose the play-in portion of this. Just go back to the regular. Eight teams from the east, eight teams from the west. If you're not in that number, too bad, so sad. You got to give somebody a chance. No, you got eight teams. That's 16 total teams. Why do we need 20 teams filing for a playoff spot? To make it interesting. It ain't interesting. First two games, first two nights, Hornets, Hawks. You're talking about 27-point victories. Last night, the Spurs got blowed out. It's not even competitive competition because this is the worst, the tail end of the worst of the worst. Most of these teams are barely 500. Do they deserve a playoff spot? Yeah. Cleveland do. And then they got hurt. Well, Jared Allen got hurt in the back half of the season, kind of. Then you have to prepare for next year. All right, well, let's get into the highlights. All right. 25 second chance points. And then, of course, Kevin Durant being able to finish the game out in the fourth quarter. Oh, you good? Yeah, go ahead. I'll call him back. Okay. Against Atlanta or, or Charlotte, two of the most explosive offensive teams in the NBA. Speaking of explosive, Kyle. Darius Garland, the all-star guard. He has had a breakthrough year. That young man right there had a great year. He is a star on the rise. But he should be sitting home on the couch preparing for It's going to be a big year. part of any kind of success that Cleveland has. Brown on the Darius Garland. Look at the screen from Evan Mobley, one of the top. <laughs> they got one more game. They got one more game. They play the Hawks next. So they still technically not out. They're not out, but they should be. Top rookies in the league. And Garland finds Mobley. Got Drummond up and a foul. Right and Marketing Mobley. pulls down the rebound. Good defense by the Cavaliers. Brooklyn won 118-107 Friday as Mobley set up. The former Cavalier briefly. Andre Drummond is Lavert is fouled at another and one opportunity for That's Cleveland. For me, yeah, staying right. in the zone. Uh, Friday they had miss. success getting Durant into the I middle mean, of the he, zone. The oh, oh, the oh, 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 what a yeah. finish! Durant involved. Kyrie Irving aware of that. Brown has been on point to start this game. Durant has not taken a shot yet. We are going to make up those last two spots in the East. Oh, Durant <laughs> meets Marketing. High at the rim with the denial. Brown looking for Durant. Gives it up. Drummond powers it down. And a foul. He didn't want to have screws in his hand. Well, they definitely need him back. Lee. He looked like he is working Lee in that screen. regard. As They definitely foul. He didn't want to have screws in his hand. Well, they definitely need him back. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got to address this. So he is a referee, so he do he does this. So if you hear something like that, or he complain about screens or something that shouldn't happen, he gonna he gonna be the first to voice it. So, do you agree that that was an illegal screen? They ain't called it. No. 
That's what I like. <laughs> they ain't called so I guess we just got to move on. Back, he looked like he is accept. working in that regard as... <laughs> so this, this, hold on, this game, there's a lot of, like, ticky tack fouls. And then the next game, like the, the Timberwolves and the Clippers, mm. it was fine up until halftime. Right. And then, like, uh, like the fouls that they was calling was obvious. Then they got to halftime. It was kind of like, all right, now y'all... Really sure. messing it up. Yeah, huh? y'all, y'all messing up the Florida game, but... For the Brooklyn Nets here tonight, and Steve Nash, we cannot give up the pain as Durant knocks down a little mid-range jumper. I don't know how. Grab my head. Wait, shot is too easy. Are you sweating? That's good. Osmond trying to stay with Kyrie Irving. Kyrie splits it. A little fade away is good. Whoa, silky smooth. Also, Rajon Rondo on the floor for the first time. He's with Kyrie Irving. And now Durant set up by Irving Cash. Garland can't finish it. Durant denies him again. Patty Mills on the break. Three on one. Kyrie. And it goes. Well, Durant and Irving only with seven shots combined, but they've made all seven. Kevin Love with an answer. A silence. And the Nets are glad to have him back in that backup point guard role. And he'll pull one up right away, and he'll knock it down. Dragic. And it's secured by Patty Mills. Cleveland has no size out there other than Love right at the end. Oh! On the floor, there's Edwards in the corner. Three-pointer, no. Rondo pulls it down, wants to run it. Rondo, little oh, sidestep, and lays it in. <laughs> you didn't know who that was, did you? I heard him say Rondo, but I was thinking, of, who, this is somebody new? Not Rajon Rondo. Yes. They own. Um, like Ricky Rubio had like a season in the injury, and ever mm. since then he came in to help out the team. I guess has he done anything? I don't know. I don't keep up with Cleveland. Other than Mobile, I don't keep up with Cleveland. So gotcha. If he has, I mean, we we'll check it. And when it's we'll at this point stats. in the year, to get any kind of live five on five work <laughs> in with the Nets, as Kyrie knocks down another jumper. Again, traffic inside. Once again, Levert met by Claxton. Got to put one up quick here. Late clock and love drains one. That switches and throwing the ball inside to their bigs against smaller guys. Kevin Durant goes to work, shoots up and over Levert. Nine. They've turned it over four times. Here's Patty Mills. Nice. Mills with the three pointer. Part of the, the Cleveland organization, a special advisor. Marketing. Set up by Karis Levert. Here comes Garland now, under three minutes to go. Second quarter. Mobley, a spin. Oh, quick bounce by Mobley. Explosive dunk. Finds Curry. Three pointer. No good. Curry can't buy one. Levert comes out of the pack. Up ahead, Stevens. And Cleveland in transition. Irving flying the speed dribble. Durant gives it right back to him. And he'll fire a three and he'll knock it down. Don't forget American Express halftime coming up. EJ and the gang standing by in Atlanta as Kyrie really keeps his perfect night. Right <laughs> <laughs> you play great defense. This is two possessions in a row where you play great defense. defense. Look at that's a tough shot. He yeah. can't go nowhere. Halftime coming up. Boom. EJ and the gang standing by it. Yeah. That's got to be defeat. Hey, as long as you do your part. He didn't you got to hold his head and kind of get back down. He, he didn't miss until like the third quarter. Yeah. So at this point, he likes not for nothing. Atlanta not as Kyrie nothing. keeps his perfect night going. And nights like this, they're going to be tough to beat. Two and a half seconds separating the shot and the game clock. And Garland will lace it up behind the back, trying to get free. Does so. And there it is. A perfect half for Kyrie Irving. 11, but then the burst at the end with Kyrie and KD. And push that lead back up to 14. Turnover on the first possession. And Kevin Durant right back at it. Isaac Okoro gives it up. Mobley passes up Don't a three. Him. Taken on Drummond. Knocks okay, it down. They're just He's taking rookie, right? such yeah. difficult shots. I think he might first win game of the play-in tournament. As Drummond from Kyrie Irving. He's turned it into 13 points. And Drummond inside once again. A free reign for the big man. 
Brown is there, keeps it alive, into the hands of Brown. Another chance. Kyrie. And he's got another one. I'm out. <laughs> what do you say? Ten. What do you say, Demo? Hey, we got to put the pressure on them on our offensive end so that because it looks like what's happening is they're running around kind of scattered on defense. They run in, they ran into a 3-2 zone. Right. But it's not a 3-2 zone that's effective. One reason is because look at all the baseline shots that they're getting. So the 3-2 zone is not helping them because they're chasing to the baseline, but they're step late on Kyrie, they're step late on Durant. So that's when you got to switch it up. I mean, if you want to run zone, you got to do some different things to give them some different looks. If they see the same thing, they're going to do the same thing, which is what's effective at this point. So if you don't change, they're not going to change. Hmm. What, would you, what would you say at this moment is like changing? Where, where, where you In the timeout right now, yeah. I'd switch from a zone to a man. We'll go two or three possessions with that, then we'll go back to a zone, but it won't be a 3-2. It'll possibly be a 2-3. Um, so we can get out on the wings, maybe a, a one three one trap. Um, but I don't think the NBA functions like that. I think no, they right. functions with the, the the bare minimum in terms of zone. And I think that's where they're lost. They're not able to kind of switch and change the look that, that the Nets are getting. That's why they're getting good shots. I think one thing, like Nick Nurse, the Raptors head coach, yeah. he's a psychopath. <laughs> so I don't know what it is, but it's like every time. So the Sixers got to play him. So don't be shocked if you see James Harden shoot like two for left. So because because yeah. he sends everybody at the best player and be like, all right, let's go get him. Let's go get him. So <laughs> that's gonna be it. Right Six to shoot. Rondo behind the back gives it up. Garland <laughs> quick release and oh. scores. <laughs> Pretty. Been in the pocket of Darius Garland all Rondo night. Been Mobley inside, little jump hook, and he is fouled Celtics. and won. Evan Mobley back, he was, with yeah, a three-point chance he here. Was, he was, he was not as effective yeah. on the long three mm. as he is on that corner three. Drummond slams it home. Oh, his point's been dope. Andre Drummond's got no 16 for the game. Lays with dunks. Yeah, Levert finds Mobley. <laughs> Mobley! <laughs> Another explosive jam for Evan Mobley. What an old man. <laughs> Three and a half to go. Kyrie on Garland. Garland puts it up and oh. cashes it in. Another tough shot down. Could have stuck his hand out. I think that pass was headed for Kevin Love. Here is Irving on the drive. It is it's easy. Like every time they get it to like nine, Mark can go back up to like Durant. 16, 17. Now they get a Real hand on it. Yeah. Turnover Brooklyn. Garland up ahead. Lays it in. Excellent work by Laurie. No center in the game. Durant's actually their five man right here. Durant's got it. Gets a step on market and takes it home. Oh. Knocked down his first 12 now. shots. This is not <laughs> a playoff game. Doesn't count as playoff records as Garland oh. springs free. Market and cleared some space for him. Durant, but 11 assists and a block and we got a seven point game oh, wow garland got the friendly bounce the shooter's touch and starting to get whatever he wants on the offensive end we get marking Kyrie off finds kevin durant. durant how about we start there how about we start there let's just get marking it off kevin durant because okay. obviously that ain't work okay go back can you go back just a little bit yeah. let's look at this again all right so they're playing man yep right here's the first problem can marking and see the ball no <laughs> <laughs> so that's you're, you're giving up at that point um, because you can't see the ball. So you're going to react to what happens next versus knowing what's going to happen next. Now, if he was any kind of basketball player, he would turn around and get to the baseline so he can see Kyrie Irving and what Kyrie Irving is going to do with the ball. But since he's not that, he's going to have to take this one right in the mouth. I think if you're going to do because you know what action is coming, they're going to try yeah, to do it. You, you switch. You like drop down a little bit. If KD run your way, it's your responsibility. Yeah. It's just if Seth run that way, Mark and you got to play some defense. But none of that. Whatever he wants. On but, you, you, <laughs> you went too far. The shooter's touch. <laughs> Not only that. But you wouldn't have had to move whatever. if you had just gotten yourself oh, no, to the baseline and faced the ball. Because he would have caught it. Exactly. 
whatever he wants on the offensive end. You, you Kyrie just finds Durant. Trap position. Or screen. You ran three into the screen. For Kevin Durant. Brown is averaging nearly 23 a game since the All-Star okay, break. Marketing for three. Oh, yeah. big shot. Yeah, we'll let him live on that. Marketing now. hits a three. Garland has had it rolling here. Maybe a little early with that shot. Brown from Nick Claxton. To you, that opened up way too much space for that cut. Karis LeVert on the drive, and he scores with a left hand. He took Kyrie Irving. Set it up. Eight to shoot. Durant finds Brown again. Oh, my goodness. What a find. What a sequence. And not this time. Mobley clears it away. Marketing running the floor and marketing with a jam. Great offense. I give him offense. Defense is what we like. Again, Brown in the middle. Shut off. Claxton. Nice left-handed jump hook by Nicholas Claxton. He's now got five assists. Don't go and here's Mobley who jams Simple. it home. Good catch. Well, that was a Good great boys. pass. This is a seven seed. Again, it's Brown. Same it's play. Cut off once straight. again. Now Can't Durant rises up. Go. Cash money. Kevin Durant. Does Cleveland have an answer? Down the stretch. Yeah, they got marking it off Durant, Durant going to work. Rises up again. And that Durant one's work. good. Back to back None possessions. Got to push the ball now if you're Cleveland. You've had trouble in the half court a little bit. Rondo on the take with the left hand. To drive it. They're going to come with two guys on him. And Claxton finishes. Good call, coach. Essentially playing four on four with a lot of space to roll. When they've seen double teams tonight and Brown has been able to either finish or make the next that was, that was play. Hard. <laughs> Why was that horrible? Well, go back. Let's, 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 let's just look at it. This, this is what's wrong with the Brown. NBA today versus 70s, 80s, early 90s. All right. Just look at Kyrie Irving and try to describe to me what is he doing? Taking the charge. That That is not taking the charge. <laughs> that is not taking the charge. Okay, if that was what he was doing, look at where he's positioned right now and look at where the ball's going. <laughs> That's not the point. He's three feet above the mini circle, right? The gentleman has the ball in his left hand which tells you that he's getting ready to change directions. He's already in the moment of changing directions to get a shot off. Now watch Kyrie Irving. Has been able to- What are you doing? You couldn't even, you was already there and already set and you opened up the door to let him go by you. That's what's wrong with the NBA. There's no pride. None of the, you've heard me say this a million times. You can't take these fouls home. <laughs> You, why are you leaving them on the court? Can't take them home. Cannot take them home. You're not in foul trouble. You know, you're winning the game by 10, yet you have no pride in making a stop. Th these young fellas, oh boy, this thing ain't here get on my nerves, something terrible. <laughs> <laughs> something terrible. <laughs> I'm turning into you calling That's everybody right. young fellas and critiquing defense or whatnot. It's all your fault. Next play. That Every is garbage. time. Eight point game. Garris LeVert got to go quick. Does go quick. Lays wow. it in with a left hand. <laughs> Brown to Claxton at an exclamation point. All the way down. Now into the hands of Irving, their best free throw shooter. And he gives it up. And Brown on the receiving end this time. They'll put one up for fun. And that'll. Take us to the horn, and the Brooklyn Nets well, will advance into the playoffs. So, Brooklyn was what seed in this play-in tournament? So, going into this, they were seven. They were seven. Yep. So, a team that for 50 years was in, or however long this playoff system has been in play, a seven seed. When normally, I guess for the past 30 years at least, you, you've taken eight teams to the playoffs. So you put one of the better teams who unfortunately had to deal with injuries and Kyrie Irving's situation, who did what they needed to do to put themselves in the playoff run, to play against a team who did put themselves in a playoff run. And one of those teams have to be knocked out and play 
either or Hawks or Hornets that don't even deserve a shot to go into the playoffs. Oh, that's you you just critiquing the play in tournament. Yeah, the okay. play in tournament okay. at this point. Okay. Like, so you <clears throat> wonder if Cleveland let's go back and think about it. Even though the Nets had their own scenario, their own problems, they still got their own problems. Wonder if they lose Ooh. to Cleveland. Now, what what if tonight of this game that we just watched, they had lost to Cleveland, right? So one of the marquee teams <laughs> is out based on your crap ass play in tournament. I mean, but you know, the Lake there was supposed to be Lakers and Nets at the beginning of the year. Lakers ain't in the playoffs. Right, they're gone. So like this this year, <clears throat> this is one of those things where it's completely wide open, and if they oh snap. If the Nets play anything like they did that night, they ain't losing. So, but what were they ten points better than Cleveland? They was nine and a half favorites going into the game. So they right even par. And then it they was straight. They was up like six or seven, like thirty seconds left. So they was right where they need to be. the The main thing is we got to play next. And who is we? Celtics. Oh yeah, we're probably in trouble. Probably. We ain't got Robin Williams. It's over. <laughs> it might be trouble. over. We probably in trouble. You do it. This is pretty easy for you. Yeah, this is easy for me. And I ain't even prepared for it. You know, no, I just that, that, that's kind of like how you're supposed to do it. Because yeah. if you go into it trying to have expectations and a script and all that, it don't. No, no. No, no, no. I need more than seven minutes. So check out the top else? plays presented by Dre. Anything else? Reference to that game, you know. No, um, I guess the Nets did what they were supposed to do, mm-hmm. or what they were expected to do. Unfortunate for Cleveland, but this play-in situation gives them an opportunity to have another shot. Yeah. So, the winner of the Hawks and Hornets, uh, they'll have to face, and you know if they want to move forward, they'll they'll take care of business. If not, they'll go home. They got home. Yeah. They got home court advantage. I think it's tomorrow. Yeah, Cleveland got it tonight. Is it tonight or tomorrow? Uh, I think they got it tonight, but Cleveland will be in Cleveland, so and it it should be a good game. I like the guard matchup between um, Garland and Pretty Ricky down there in Atlanta, so that should be pretty good. We're going to talk about Pretty Ricky in a minute, <laughs> but that is it for this one. All right, bye.